Huh? How did it feel being out there? Oh, that was the questions already? Yeah, it's fast. Uh, um, yeah, it felt good. It felt good. Just, again, like, first time in a long time. Um, Four-point game here. Rush that time. Pascal Siakam has left the game with a left shoulder strain. He will not return to the game tonight. I remember, like, I was talking to Alex, and he was telling me, oh, you have to get a surgery. And, like, it was, like, my first surgery, obviously. I'm super scared. Like I remember just really crying. Like on, I don't think I've cried like that since my dad passed away. So like it was like really, I think just because of the season that we had, and like I just wanted to like you know go back into the summer. Like I had you know so many things that I, I had planned, and it just felt like another blow. You know, like you have to get through surgery. Just talking about six months. You know, um, just just really a uh, tough moment for me. And 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 I remember thinking, you know, like it was like the end of the world. You know? Pascal and I were together three or four hours every day. Pascal worked really hard. He really wanted to get better and he was willing to do whatever it took. Every single day, um, she's there, um, dedicated to it, you know, asking me, you know, how are you doing? And, and, and kind of like seeing how my body is reacting. While we were rehabbing the shoulder, we had to make sure that his legs were ready, his core was ready, that the rest of his body was ready to play. He's done really well and, and all the credits to him because he put the work in day in and day out no excuses. I hope he knows like, how much I care about him and how much I want him to be the best he can be. I appreciate her being there and, 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 and you know, doing everything she's doing. <laughs> Home gym. <laughs> Doesn't matter where we go, man. Just wait till someone gets off the elevator. <laughs> Doesn't matter where we at, we get that work. Everyone wants you to get back, you know, it's, it's, it's getting back at the right time and, and, and when you are healthy, you know, and, and, and I think that's what Alex is about, you know, no matter what it is, like, we're going to get back on our time and, and we're going to um, react to how about the body's feeling and it's about the player. And, um, you know, I respect that for sure. And, and, and I think, you know, working over the years, you know, just that level of, like, trust, that knowing that um, it's always going to be what's, what's best for me. Um, and my body, so um, I trust that, and, and that's why you know, it was definitely easy communicating, and making sure we're on the same page, and and, um, and again, you know, hopefully we, we get back and, and, and you know, everything goes well, and, and, and I'm back playing in no time. Move it, move, move. There you go, Ma. Good pass, boy. Hey, that's tough, Ma. All summer long, even with him being out, he's been fully invested with this team and been around to to grow with them, you know? I mean, he was he spent time at Summer League even, and those guys, they don't have to, and he really approached his rehab and his preparation for this season about as good as you could ask for a, a high-level guy like that to where everyone knows he's a part of this, and, and I think when, when our young guys see a guy that's as invested as he is while not playing, it just, it helps, you know, us sell what we're doing here as a team, as one. And, and I mean, he's out there cheering for him to where now when he's going to be out there playing, those guys, they'll be cheering for him the same exact way. So, yeah, it's just a, a full investment to what we're trying to do um, and build this young group. And, and I think that everybody, they're going to welcome back with open arms because of it, you know? Super exciting, man. And, and I think just um, seeing how um, just even every game, how we are developing and how we're evolving as a team. Um, seeing all the young guys, you know, get better um, each time is, 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 is really inspiring to see. Um, and I mean, obviously, I want to be out there, but um, I'm trying to, you know, just learn different things sitting out there, uh, making sure that my, my, my voice is heard and, and that, you know, I stay around and, and I make sure that, you know, I talk to everyone and, and give some of the things that I see, you know, um, and some of my experience to, to them. But, I mean, they've been doing excellent, man. Like, just um, fighting every single night. 
um, no game is, is, is really easy. You know, they, they give their all, and, 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 and it's, a, it's a joy to see. I just want to continue, you know, to, for me to do my part, get better, and go out there and help them out because, you know, the work that they've been doing is, is incredible. Well, I guess we have plans to, to you know, come see the doctor for last checkup, and uh, you know, flew from from New York, and you know, go on the plane at seven, what, eight a.m. in the morning. This morning, obviously, we left um, New York, flew to Los Angeles, and it's difficult sometimes to, to time these things so, you know, with, with the doctors, with their surgical schedules, etc., and even timing it with some, some of our road trips. But in this case, we thought we, we want to get on to this sooner rather than later. We're at the five month mark yesterday, uh, November 1, and we're looking for return to play relatively soon. Tons of times, long, lots of times over the years. Yeah. Yeah, I've been. Mean, I don't like how long I've been. Mean, well, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Hi. How are you? I'm well. How about you? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Hey, this way. Um, just got here. It was 10, 30 when we got here, and you know, went straight to the doctor's office, and and yeah, we're just here waiting, and 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 hopefully. Hopefully we can get it done, you know, get some type of closure and and see what's the next steps. All right, big time. Let's see what you got here. Well, we've come here to see uh, Dr. Latrash, who is the attending surgeon, and uh, eff effectively for a final follow-up on his uh, uh, surgery to the left shoulder. So we're looking for completion, completion of closing out the, uh, the surgical aspect of this whole thing and um, moving forward to maintain and sustain rehab and get back, get back to play. I'm gonna let you control this, okay? You go ahead and you just go ahead and bring your arm back. That's good, really good. He stays at 90 degrees when he gets to his uh, plane of his shoulders and behind. That's a good sign. How's that feel when I get you back there? Feels good. Good? Yeah. Okay. He's been going full contact now for the last two weeks. It's, we're five months today. Five months? Today. Yeah, yesterday. How do you yeah. feel? Oh, I'm good. You been shooting and everything? Yes, yeah, I've been shooting. Can you jump up with both both arms up, like mm -hmm. against the boards? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you, have you dunked? Yes. I've dunked. I mean, I haven't done like a full one, like left, but like both hands and... You're a right-handed shooter though, yeah, right? Yeah, right-handed, yeah. You know, as, as Pascal's obviously um, allowed us to discuss this, it's, it's a, what we call a labral repair um, done to his shoulder. Uh, he had some instability in the shoulder that, that we knew that there was going to be an ongoing problem for him um, at the end of last season. So we took the, the um, initiative to sort of move forward with that as quickly as possible. And you know, through the course of the summer, we uh, you know obviously um, we came to see Dr. Elatrash here, who has tremendous reputation in, in this this type of thing, uh, this type of surgery. So we um, obviously Pascal elected to see Dr. Elatrash, who, who performed the surgery. That was back in. Um, June 1st. Uh, so in that case, the, the labrum was repaired and effectively the shoulder stabilized. And from that point on, it's about rebuilding the muscle, rebuilding what we call neuromotor patterning, rebuilding the strength and power. Make sure you feel you know strong in the upper body and shoulders. When you start to fatigue, you know, then then just, you know, they, they don't want to play it past the point of fatiguing at this point physically. So just you know, let them know, and then we'll gradually increase your minutes. Mm -hmm. But I think that uh, when you get out there, don't uh, don't even think about your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Just do your thing, and and um, and let the let your conditioning, everything, take care of itself. So as soon as you start to feel a little arm weary or fatigue, just 
tell them. All right, man. Thank great you. work. You did, 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 did great work. Great work so from you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. That. The rehabilitation is a commitment of both parties, and, and Pascal has been absolutely 100% committed and compliant with absolutely no question. He's done everything we've asked, asked of him and been extremely committed and consistent and committed and stuck to the programme. And that's what makes it work. Yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate All right. it. All right, man. Take care. See you. See you guys. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Neil. Thank you. Appreciate it. You guys are all set. Yeah. I hope the six-hour flight was worth it. Uh, <laughs> we'll go straight back. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, let's right go back to East Coast. No, let's go eat, man. Well, yeah, grab some food. I, I mean, we'll go straight back. Yeah. After. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a physiotherapist in Los Angeles by the name of Robert Spang, who did a terrific job with Pascal in the early stages. His ability to communicate with us and allow us to communicate with him, follow up on a monthly basis, weekly basis, and follow up and us visiting on a monthly basis. It was a total commitment from both sides. Siakam going from hype guy on the sidelines to in the action and on the court, back after that off-season shoulder surgery and ready to lead this team. What's happening? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. First game back, felt like forever. Yeah, I'm excited. It's finally here. Just, just want to be out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really, I really don't have no expectations or anything like that. Like, I just want to be on the floor. I just want to play with my teammates. I just want to, you know, have fun. I just want to play the game that I love. Um, and it's just that, like, I haven't been able to do that. So, it's, it's, it's an exciting time. And uh, yeah, I, like I said, I wanted to be a natural, you know, normal night. You know, I didn't want to make it a big deal, to be honest. And then here's open jam. Here's open gym. Rocky texted me. I, I don't know what time he texted me, but texted me talking about you want to, you know, capture this. I was trying to make it as little of a deal as possible, but I guess not. Can't really hide from open gym. <laughs> I don't know how many minutes I'm gonna play. I don't know what you know what I mean, what the deal is, but I'm just I'm just super excited to play against you know a really good team, and, and I think it's gonna be uh, fun to. to Playing Scotia Bank Arena again and, and, and having the fans and all that, you know, so um, we'll just see how that goes. You ever get used to that? Huh? I mean, kind of. No, I mean, it's, it's cool, but like, I see it every day basically. Well, since we've been back. It's nice though. I remember when I used to. Remember when I used to count. <laughs> How many jerseys they had in the crowd of mine? I used to go like, oh my God, I just saw one of my jerseys and it was cool, you know? And now it's like every other jersey. I mean, it's, it's a blessing for sure. Like, it's amazing. Pascal Siakam understood the assignment. The rehab assignment is back in the lineup making his season's debut. I think a lot sooner than some of us expected to take on the Brooklyn Nets. Now all those storylines about what this lineup could look like with Siakam can be put to rest. We'll see it this afternoon. He's a major part of what we do and uh, how we're built. So I think everybody is excited to see what he can bring to this, our current roster that I, I think is really starting to gel and, and figure out a way to play really well together. And he's gonna add a whole new dimension of playmaking and scoring. And we're just really excited to see how he blends in with this group and, and kind of changes the dimension of, of our attack and, and how we can uh, go after teams. Protect home court. Get your energy going, talk, like use your voice. Yeah. One, three, one, two, three. play from an injury isn't just physical, right? There's a huge mental component to it. I wanted to make sure that he was feeling good physically and mentally and that, you know, he could go out and perform his best. I'm very happy to see him back on the court. Very excited. Another leader, a veteran out there that can help the young guys come along. Uh, so we're just excited as a whole team and organization to have him back. 
Pascal Siakam back in the lineup, back in the starting five, and taking on a guy who also hasn't been around for a while, especially in these parts, Kevin Durant. The last time he was here with Golden State, of course, game five of the NBA Finals where he tore his Achilles and was out. The rest is history. Panton turnover. Hop step, drops it off. Welcome back. 12 of the shot clock. A oh, great job. Resetting and then exploding to the rim. It's been a while, you know, it's just good to see him out there healthy. We're going to need him, obviously. Uh, I thought he looked good. Um, he's going to keep finding his feet and his legs. And um, for a first game, I thought he looked pretty good. So, again, it's just good to have him out there. You kind of forget, you know, how much he can do and what he brings to the table. But uh, it's good, good just to have him back out there. Here's Gary Trent. Yeah, it was tough. I think like after the first like three minutes, like yeah, I think yeah, I needed some like gas or something. I need like my my, my legs was heavy. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I think I couldn't breathe at one point. Um, and again, I haven't played like a lot of five on fives, you know, like full court and and, and things like that. So um, it's just gonna get better with time. Pascal is still working every day, continue to be strong and for the rest of his body to be strong. And he's not rid of me yet. He still has to see my face every day. <laughs> Siakam is out. He's played 25 minutes. Remember, limited in his first game back. So obviously, we didn't get the win, but like it just felt great to be out there on the floor like it's been so long. And um, you know, I feel blessed, you know, and I think that, um, again, like I said, it's, it's easy to just, you know, go by like day by day and, and forget about you know all, all the blessings and and, and I, I definitely feel blessed and, and and to be in this position and, and be able to be back on the court so so yeah I'm, I'm super happy.